Hey guys, it's Karen here with Watts Creative Designs. Just wanted to pop on. Um, I have vi I have taped this so you all are getting a video versus a live, but I did want to jump on and do um, Fab or Flop Friday. I told y'all that we were going to do this and I think that it'll be a lot of fun. So I saw a video on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute. And the lady on there said that she saw this like 50 some odd dollars in one of the department stores, went home and decided she was going to try and make it herself. So I'm going to do the same thing. And it uses one of the little skeletons that you can get at, we're not going to have him do that though, but he's super cute. I chopped his legs off though. But he came from the Dollar Tree. He is only a dollar twenty-five. Y'all are gonna be amazed at how little I spend on this. So I went to the Dollar Tree today and I picked up this bowl. And you know, dollar twenty-five, right? I gave the lady my dollar twenty-five cents, and she gave me a dollar back. I gave her a dollar twenty-seven cents. And she gave me a dollar back and I'm like, it's a dollar 27, right? She said, no, the bowl's only 27 cents. You can't beat that for the black, the black bowl. So we have our bowl. We have our little pump, our little skeleton. I don't know why I keep trying to call him a pumpkin. He's a skeleton. Our little skeleton with the glowing eyes. And I kept his legs because I've got an idea about his legs. So... What I am going to do is I'm going to glue him into our bowl like this. So let me get my hot glue going over here. And I got my glue pen. So let me get it plugged up. I'm in a different area. So I don't have all my, I've got a, a whole thing of plugs in my room, but I'm not in there because I needed the stove. I told y'all today on live, or yesterday on live, well, really it was today, but y'all are watching this tomorrow, <laughs> but um, I told you that we were going to be in the kitchen, and I was going to be using the stove, but it was not for something that you could eat, so any guesses what it is, y'all put them in the comments, and let me know what your guess is. So while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and glue him in as soon as our glue gets going. Y'all make sure to say hello, let me know you're here. Um, I'll know whether you can hear me or not and hopefully it won't be glitchy at all. But welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> y'all don't normally get to see this room, y'all normally see my craft room. But I do have an idea about the, um, the little guys Head. He has like a little loop on his head and I cut it off, but it's still kind of random and I won't use his eyes. So I had an old paint cloth that had paint all over it and I had this one little corner. So I cut the corner off of it, as you can see, and I'm going to see how it looks to make like a towel around his head because our little skeleton's gonna be taking a bath. So let's see how that looks. Let's see if we can get our glue pen going. The glue pen has been my friend. It still needs just a little bit more time. Y'all say hello. And I got stuff over here going on the stove, just cooking up a storm, y'all. I can't, any guesses what it is? What am I cooking on the stove? Y'all let me know. What are we cooking? Here we go. I'm gonna just put like a little Thin line of glue along there. And I'm gonna put his little head down. And I 
did not bring my little tool in here. I do want to lift it up right on the front though because I don't want that to glue down yet because our little skeleton is going to be taking a bath. So I'm going to put a little bit on each side of his head. I just put it right on each side of where his little speakers are there. And then I'm gonna bring this over. Just bring that over. So I've wrapped it around and secured it. I pinched the sides in, and now I'm gonna bring this over and tuck it under. So let's go ahead and put a little glue up underneath there so it'll catch it good. And try not to get burned, because y'all know I am a failure with the glue tool. <laughs> and I'm not even ashamed to admit it. I, um, I, oh, oh my gosh, y'all, look. <laughs> look, oh my word, he is absolutely adorable. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue up around his, his head. I would have done this live tomorrow, but my sweet husband took the day off, so we are going to go gallivanting in the morning. So that'll be a ton of fun. Look at that. I do have a little bitty snip on the side, so I'm not gonna pull this drawer open too far because y'all see all my junk. <laughs> That's the junk drawer. Who has a junk drawer in the kitchen? Don't lie. Y'all tell the truth. <laughs> Everybody that I know's got one. I'm gonna trim that. These scissors need to be sharpened like the ones in my craft room. Okay. So here is our little guy. He's got his little um, towel on his head. And I'm going to take him and I'm going to glue him right into the bowl. I'm going to try and leave him up a little bit because I want his little arms to be out like so. So I think I'm going to glue him right like that. So I'm going to put the glue along his back. That way... So take the glue and just right along where his little skeleton is there, his little backbone, his little shoulder bones. We're just gluing this little fella right up. Y'all, this is the most precious thing y'all have ever, ever, ever seen. Okay. And I don't think my bowl had a line in it anywhere, so I don't think it really matters. Okay, I don't want to put it up. Okay, I think that's good. I wish I had put some down on the bottom. Let's pull it back. I want to put some down here too because that part touches the bottom. kind of lay back. He's got to relax. He's just chilling in the bowl. What you think? Y'all, it's too much. Too much. Okay, so I'm going to pull all my little glue strings over to one side because I got tons of them. All right, so the little feet, I think I'm gonna do like so, because I want his little feet 
to be tucked out from underneath and but just kind of sitting on the ledge so i'm going to put just a little spot of glue right there just to hold them in place just a little spot just right on his little um heel there and just kind of fit it and seat it down. And I am trying to clear up my glue strings as I go. And I think I'm gonna put a little spot down in the bottom just to hold those still. Because I don't want them moving around. And I'm gonna put just a little spot on his wrist. Because I don't want those to move either. right now it's just absolutely adorable you could actually just get like some of the little um glitter balls from um hobby lobby not hobby lobby dollar tree and put in there i've got some but i don't know exactly where they're at i think they're on my shelf but i'm gonna i'm gonna go with my original clam because i already have everything going over here so what am i gonna do with this I have this little guy all set up. What am I gonna do? Um, I think I've got something on the, I've got something on the stove over here. One of them's not finished. So um, I'll take the two out when you get it over here and then we will um, put the other one back. Um, my lively assistant, Blake, is helping me tonight. He is going to bring me my stove project. And so the stove project is going to consist of candle wax. Okay, I need another one. I can put it on this because I have to. Um, will you hand me one of those skewers? I'm gonna take the two out that are finished and I'm gonna get a piece of Y'all look in my messy drawers here. I'm just get a piece of foil out. Because what I have to do now is, is I have to, I'm gonna set him to the side because we have to work on our candle wax because, yes please. Because we have to um, get the wick out. One week there. And I'm going to fish my other one out here. These will probably be a little bit hot. We're gonna let them dry just a little bit. And then I'm going to put them in. I really need that other one too, so it needs to hurry. But these will dry really fast, so you need to um, just be mindful of what you're gonna do with them. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put all three wicks in my little, um, with my skeleton, so I'm gonna put I think I'll put one here. And I don't want to get too close to where I have put his um, little hair piece, like his little towel. So I want to make sure that I keep these off to the sides and then I will probably put one right up front, right there next to his, um, in the middle of his feet. 
So I think this is how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move those to the side a little bit. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two, two down. I'm gonna just put a little spot of glue in there. side I hope this turns out guys what do y'all think and you know it's not really a tough project I have had the glue on the stove I just put a pot of water on the stove and just set the candles down in it these are the white candles, just the plain white candles that you can buy at Dollar Tree. So super inexpensive. So, so far I have a dollar 25 in my skeleton. Um, my washcloth, I'm not even counting because it was like a, a old washcloth that I wasn't using. Um, and then the candles were $1.25 each. So that's what, $5.27 that I have so far in this. Um, I don't know how much the glue was. I've used very little glue, so I'm not even gonna count the glue. All right, so we're gonna let him hold his wicks up. <laughs> let me let this one other one get done. Let's see, y'all, we gotta talk a minute, cause I need that week out of it. Yeah, I'll hold the phone. Let me go over here and see if I can push it down with the skewer and get it going faster. I'll be back. Talk amongst yourselves, guys. soon. Once you can ever get it down in there, it'll go, it'll melt fast. Plus I'm putting holes in it so it's gonna, it's gonna melt. Like I say, I'll show you the pot in just a few minutes. Let me finish getting this one melted because I need the wick out of it before I can pour the other two in. I am while we're while we're waiting. I'm gonna lay that there and I'm gonna set these two back in there. Um but see how they liquefy? They just get liquidy. I'll be back. but I don't want them to start. Um, I don't want them to start setting back up, so I'm going to put them back in the water for just a few minutes, so. So far, we've only been on less than 20 minutes, and look how much we've got done. I did have a lot of prep work done. Um, I cut the washcloth. Like I say, all I did is cut the corner off of that um, I took the little skeleton off. He's just held on with a couple of little pieces and there was a piece at the top. These are on the Dollar Tree website. This is one that I had last year. I asked the lady in the store today and she said that she thinks they will be getting them. Um, they are on their website, but you can't order them from the website. It says only available in stores. So that tells me that they will be in there. You could actually use any little skeleton um, that you wanted as long as it was sized to fit your bowl. So you don't really have to have that, that one. This one is 10 inches. Um, so it's a 10 inch skeleton. The part with its eyes lighting up and all that, that really doesn't, um, didn't affect me buying it or not buying it. I just thought he was cute. So that's the reason I got it. Okay, let me check on this one more time. I'll be right back. Get the 
this week soon. We're gonna have to move on without it. everybody will have a happy day and a happy weekend this is going to be labor day weekend and all the crazies come out guys so y'all be safe whatever you do this weekend i think we're just going to have a um a nice weekend at home I, we may go to the lake i don't know but i know that we're going to um we're not going camping or anything we went camping last weekend so we, um, everything's just always so packed on Labor Day. So we just opted to hang out at home this year, so.